Hey guys, today's video is warning, don't attach to your borderline. Um, I, I fell victim to this guys. Um, I was, I was friends, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, friends, um, with a borderline. She didn't like to call me her boyfriend, but she fucked me and stuff. Um, the problem is good guys like me, we get attached to these fucking hoes and they literally fucking rip our hearts out. Um, the problem with borderline personality is they don't have a secure attachment style. You know, they have a, I think they call it an insecure attachment style where they, they really more or less just think of people as objects to manipulate. Um, obviously they want to have friendships. They want to love people. They want to be loved. Obviously they're human, right? They're human. Um, borderline personality is actually a mental illness in the DSM, um, DSM criteria. Um, some of the symptoms you're going to see is, you know, ghosting behavior is, is really, really something that borderline women do. They ghost their friends and family, sometimes weeks, months, years at a time. Um, the most recent episode with this girl that I loved, I had to ask her, her, she, she was staying with me because she was homeless in her car and she, she reached out to me in the winter. It was winter time. It was freezing cold. She was sleeping in her car. I was like cooking dinner at the time. She hits me up and says, Steve, I need a place to stay. I let her come stay with me. Um, the three weeks she's staying there, guys, you know, I'm prone to attachment because I have a healthy attachment style. So when I have friends and, you know, romantic partners, I'm prone to attach to them. You know, I'm, I'm, I want to have people, solid people in my life, you know, and I'm, I'm one of those people that just doesn't easily give up on people. You know, if I give up on someone, they definitely deserved it. Um, if I'm abused and mistreated, I will give up on somebody for that. I'm not going to let people continue to mistreat me and abuse me. I'm just going to end the relationship. Um, you have to be willing to walk away from these girls. Um, narcissism and borderline share a lot of features like selfishness. Um, I think it's selfish to ghost somebody. Ghosting, ghosting your partner is selfish because... It's also kind of abusive. I mean, would you, would you, would you do that to, you know, anybody, you know, I guess, I guess the answer is they would, um, they don't attach, they're not attaching to you. So if, so if you're dating a borderline woman, um, even a borderline man, they're not attaching to you. They have an insecure attachment style, you know, basically it means that they can't attach to you. So that's why the girl that I loved you know, she would so easily just break up with me. I wouldn't see her for fucking two years. Break up with me. I wouldn't see her for a fucking month. Then she'd come back a month later, come back two years later. Um, because she's not attaching to me, guys. She has no attachment to me. She more or less just thinks of me as an object. Um, an object that can meet her narcissistic borderline needs, right? Because uh, this girl is everything. She's narcissistic. She's borderline. She's antisocial. She's, she's got everything that is the worst combination for a female. Um, my ex-girlfriend was heartless. Um, she could have caused my deaths numerous times, driving drunk, things like that, triangulating me against her other boyfriends, which could have led to my death. Um, these women are heartless. They don't care whether you get beat up, whether you get hurt, whether you get killed. They don't give a fuck. Um, it's a cluster B personality, so they have no empathy. They have no no regard for your safety, for your for your uh, well being. They don't care. Like for example, um, so anyway, this girl asked to stay with me. She stays with me for three weeks. My landlord asked to kick her dogs out, so I had to ask her dogs to go under threat of eviction. With her being there only three weeks, um, this is after she told me that I'm the only guy that can put up with her bullshit because of her, she's so behavioral because of the borderline that men just really more or less think of her as just a piece of ass. And then they just run away. Whereas I was the guy that was a salt, one of her solid boyfriends. She had a couple solid boyfriends in her life. Uh, me being one of them that was willing to stay, that was willing to be there for all the bad behavior that was willing to not give up on her. And how does she repay me? She ghosts me. She ghosts me for you know, one period was two years and then she hit me up. Hey, you want to Netflix and chill after two years? Um, this was after she had gotten like gone through a bad breakup or something. 
see her being a narcissistic borderline when she goes through these breakups she's gonna hoover um why is she hoovering you know her ex-boyfriends people like me because she wants to va get those feelings validated that she's still worth something that she's still a good girl the guys still want to be with her that she's still attractive she wants people like me to blow smoke up her ass um but she doesn't give a fuck about me she she literally cares nothing about my humanity i mean he, here i i haven't seen her since i think i think it was last march so it's been over a year it's been march april may june july august 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. it's been 18 months since i've seen her and all I did was ask her dogs to go because my landlord said, this is your final warning. I'm going to kick you out if you don't kick the dogs out. This is your final warning. And I had nowhere else to live. I had no family that I could stay with. I had no one I could stay with. So I had to ask her dogs to go. How does she repay me? She moves right the fuck out. She moves right the fuck out. Why is she moving right the fuck out? One, her sister told her, hey, her sister was at the shelter at the time. And her sister, you know, misery loves company. So her fucking sister got her to come to the shelter with her. You know, how stupid is that? She had a fucking awesome place, you know, with me. I lived in a super cute town at the time. She had it made in the shade. You know, I could have given her cheap rent. You know, we, we both had cheap rent. We could have we could have shared bills. We could have lived well together. But these borderline narcissistic women are literally their own fucking worst enemy. Um, they, they do the opposite of what they should do. I mean, I, I don't even know who she's with right now, but I guarantee fucking T, one, he's an abuser because borderline narcissistic women, they seek out abusers and drama starters. Uh, they like chaos and drama. I don't think I offered her enough drama in her life. I think that's why she probably got bored, you know, because I wasn't being abusive to her. I wasn't physically abusive, verbally abusive. So I don't think I provided her with the level of chaos that she wanted. Maybe I was too peaceful at the time. I don't know. But she's ghosted me, guys. It's 18 months that she's ghosted me. And this is a woman that I that I loved in the past. You know, um, I cared about tremendously. I mean, I, I took two trips to jail to bail her out of jail. I actually drove in the middle of the night with my brother for like an hour to bail her out of jail. And then like a week later, she ghosts me, guys. This is the fucked up shit these narcissistic women do. You, you bend over backwards for these women. Like, for example, me driving fucking hours in the night just to have her ghost me a week later for going on 18 months after I bailed her out of jail, after I drove her to court, after I drove her all around. See how these narcissistic fucking sluts will just manipulate and use people? They just fucking use people up like me, and then they just spit us out like trash, guys. Um... I don't know where the fuck she is. I guarantee right now, I don't even know where the fuck she is, but I guarantee she's dating a fucking piece of shit loser because that's who she has a track record of fucking dating is fucking scumbag losers with drug addictions, things like that. I mean, guys have literally smashed her windshield, smashed her upside the head to the point of giving her concussions. I've never laid a fucking finger on this girl. I've been nothing but nice to her, kind to her sweet to her. But what is a narcissistic woman going to do? She's going to trade my 41 year old ass and for a fucking 25 year old fucking piece of shit scumbag, because maybe he has a fucking nice, nicer body than I do. Or, or maybe he has a nicer car than I do, or a nicer cock than I do. Um, these are all things that that narcissistic women will do narcissistic borderline women will do. Because they're not attaching to you guys. So if you're dating a borderline, warning, don't attach to them. They're not attaching to you. They see you as an object. Yeah, they, they, they want the illusion of love. They want the fantasy of love, the fantasy of connection. But they don't have the ability to, to, to connect to you, to enmesh to you, to be, to be you know, your loving partner. They don't, they don't have that ability. So uh, the two times she hoovered me, one time... It was two years I hadn't seen her. Um, literally had done nothing wrong just to get ghosted for two years. This is a girl I love, guys. Literally had my heart ripped out by this girl. Um, almost committed suicide. Um, this girl, the same girl, left me on Christmas Eve, ghosted me on Christmas Eve, moved out of my house on Christmas Eve. This is the cold, heartless shit that you're going to get from these fucking narcissistic borderline cunts, guys. 
and again, it is a, it is a mental illness. So you don't want to take it out on them per se, because it is a mental illness. So no, I'm not going to, you know, lash out at her because she's mentally ill. Borderline personality is a severe mental illness, guys. It causes love hate cycles with a romantic partner. Um, again, that, that non-attachment. So if you're dating a borderline, they're not attaching to you. I dated another borderline guys, got attached to her. What does she do? She fucking just up and leaves state. This is the type of shit that these fucking borderline narcissistic women will do to guys like me. Um, guys like me that get attached to them. We fall in love with them. We care about them. We want to be there for them just to have our fucking hearts ripped out. I mean, literally, it can make you suicidal. I mean, I almost took my life over this fucking slut. Literally, almost took my life. Um, I'm glad I didn't because, you know, my family, they really do need me. My sisters, my brothers, my mom, you know, my dad, he passed away. But my family I do have definitely needs me. I have a special needs nephew who has autism. He needs me. Um, I have another nephew. I have a niece. Um, so I have a lot of family that would would be sad if I was to just drop off the face of the earth, right? But these narcissistic borderline mentally ill, so let's call it what it is, they're mentally ill. Narcissism is actually a mental illness. Narcissistic personality disorder is a mental illness. Borderline personality is a mental illness. So no, I'm not going to lash out at this girl. I'm not going to, you know, do anything to this girl because she's she's she may not even be aware that she's doing it. Um something traumatic happened during her childhood. I don't know if this girl was raped or I know she was physically assaulted by men. Um, see, the problem is when, 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 they, when these borderline women are in these loving relationships and let's say they get physically abused by their boyfriend. Now, they're, now, they, now in the future, they equate love with, with actual fear responses, with PTSD responses. Um, so me getting close to her, being that loving boyfriend, she's thinking, geez, are you going to be the next guy to beat the fuck out of me? So she pushes me away rather than getting, rather than getting positive feelings from being loved. She's getting PTSD reactions from me getting close to her. Um, because again, her last boyfriend beat the fuck out of her and he said he loved her. You know, he said, you know, I'm attached to you. I love you. I want to get married. And then he beat the fuck out of her. So now she thinks of loving relationship PTSD wise, Jesus, if this guy gets close to me, he's going to beat the fuck out of me. So I got to push him away. My last boyfriend beat the fuck out of me. I got to push this guy away. So don't take their behavior personally because they really are fucking fucked in the head. They really are fucked in the head because it makes no sense what they do. Um, uh, Self-sabotage is a big, a big key factor with these borderline women, um, probably men too, is that self-sabotage. They'll self-sabotage. Perfect example, she had a perfect place to live. It was a cute town. She was my roommate in a cute apartment. She would have had cheap rent. What does she do? She self-sabotages. She puts herself in the fucking shelter. That's a self-sabotage. Why the fuck would you go to the shelter when you have a fucking just best, just about free place to live in a cute town? Um, their own worst enemy, guys. Their own fucking worst enemy. And you know what this fucking hoe will probably do? Next time she's sleeping in her car, homeless, and she's cold, let's say it's winter again, who's she going to hit up? She's probably going to fucking call me asking me for help. I might not help next time. I might, I may just say, you know, fuck you, you know, fuck you. These girls, dude, are heartless fucking girls, heartless. Like, like if I pick a gun up and blew my head off right now, this girl wouldn't give one fuck. That's the heartless lack of empathy that these women have. I actually, um, within the last couple of months, I was, I was really upset. I hit, one day I hit up, I think it was her sister or something like that. Mentioning I was having a bad day or something like that. How does a sister react? She just blocks me. This is this is how these fucking savage slut cunts, because that's what they are. They're fucking savage slut cunts. That's how they deal with conflict. They just block you, or they just ghost you, or they just don't talk about things. You, you won't hear from them for two years. That's how they solve problems. You know, I'm expecting to read in the paper any day that some guys murdered this chick. Because she's so fucking heartless that I'm worried that one of these guys that she dates will just get upset and kill the bitch. Literally kill the bitch. I'm, I'm thinking I'll read it in the paper any day now. 
that this girl has caused some guy to go off the fucking deep end and he's fucking gone, you know, crazy, killed her or something. Because of her lack of empathy, she's so cold hearted, like leaving me on Christmas Eve the next day, almost killed myself. That's how upset I was, guys. I was devastated. This is a woman that I got attached to, a borderline woman I got attached to just to have my fucking heart ripped out. So if you're dating a borderline between me and you, love, yeah, you can love them from a distance. You can be their friend. Maybe it's even your girlfriend. You know, you can still love them. But my recommendation is understand you can't attach to them. You can't be attached to them because in the long run, they may end up ripping your fucking heart out. They may end up just breaking up with you. I call it for no reason because often it is for no fucking reason. Literally one day this girl left my house. Me and my brother had offered to cook her chicken. She leaves my house. I don't see her for two years. That's an example of I hadn't done anything wrong. Me and my brother, we offered to cook her chicken. She leaves my house. She couldn't even eat with us that night. She leaves my house. Leaves my house and hadn't seen her for two years. And then she hits me up with a, you want a Netflix and chill and comes over and fucks me just to make herself feel better. And then ends up ghosting me again. Do you see how fucking crazy this is for guys like me? We get attached to these fucking hoes just to have our fucking hearts ripped out. So no, don't take her behavior personally. Borderline personality is a mental illness. Narcissistic personality is a mental illness. So no, we won't lash out at these people. They're mentally ill. That being said, you need to protect yourself and not attach. You cannot attach to these fucking girls because they're just going to rip your fucking heart out. Till next time, have a good one. Bye.